Hello and welcome to lesson number 10, uh, PTV Visum tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about demand models in Visum. So usually we work with demand models when we want to do segmentation for our um, demand inside the model because usually we have different type of trip or trip purposes. So that's why we need to segment our demand and in order to do that we need to work with demand models in Visum. So let's go quickly to the agenda of this tutorial. So I'm going to talk about first activity pairs, then person groups, demand strata, demand segment, and a comparison between demand strata and demand segments. So let's go and know what's on each of these are doing. So the activity pairs. Um, activity pairs is a two successive um, activ activities in a daily routine of a person. So for an instance, we have a home-based um, trips and we have a non-home-based trips. This means that some of the trips, they start and end at home and some of them, um, they um, don't start and end at the home. So an example of a home-based trip is a home work trip, a home shop trip, and a home education trip, home other trip. And for the non-home-based trips, we have um, just the non-home-based trips. Um, so let's go to the next section, which is the person groups. We have for the person groups, um, we need to classify um, people based on some factors or some elements. And here I have the income size, or sorry, the income level and the household size. So we know that people um, with different incomes um, will behave differently. So for instance, uh, let's say we have a road and that road has a toll gate. So people with, probably people with higher income would go for that road and people with low, lower income would prefer to use um, some other roads without tolls. So that's why we need to segment our demand. Um, this is one of the one of the reasons. And also the household size is an important factor um, um, when we go for segmentation and for our demand. So here I have about six examples of um, a person group that has a low income and they are a large household, medium income, large household, high income, large household, and so on. So, so far I have talked about the activity and the person groups. We have we, we segment based on the activity, okay, um, the trip purpose, usually we call it, where we um, segment the demand based on the trip purpose, um, because we know that people um, going to work are different than the people um, going to the shop. Um, their time is different, so so that's why we need to segment the demand. Um, it is just a common practice and it's a better way um, to simulate the human's behavior. So the third item will be the demand strata. And the demand strata will be the connection or the combination of the activities and the person um, groups. Okay. So, in other words, demand strata is a combination of one activity and one group um, that they have some homogeneous um, or certain activities. So, here I have uh, a home to work trip with a low income and small size household. The next one is a home to work trip but medium income and small size household. So, in the demand strata in Visum, um, we use it to combine the trip purpose and the activity um, together. Um, next, we will go to the demand segment. 
So I think now we have talked about this, the demand part of, mod, of the model. Now we are going to talk about the supply part where it goes to the demand segment. So somehow the demand segment is a linkage between transport supply and transport demand. So for each demand segment, there is a demand matrix to be assigned to the network. So we will have a demand segment which is called car. So that demand segment will have its own matrix to be assigned in Visum. So the assignment results will exist on the level of the demand segment. Um, and finally is the a more comparison or um, a visual comparison between demand strata and demand segments. So let's start with the first one. I have a home-based work trip and home-based other trip. Okay, so now I am on the activity or trip purpose level. Then I'm going down to split my trip purpose to another level, which will be the person groups. We have person group of low income and high income for each of these activity pairs or trip purposes. So this area here represents my demand strata. And then now I'm going to, from my demand part to my supply part, um, which is the road network and the modes. Okay, so I'm going from demand strata to the modes, what people are going to use. So we have car and transit in this example. So each one of these will have um, two modes. Okay, and the best practice we do is we usually aggregate our um, demand strata because um, you can see here that I have a low income and a high income, but these guys they end at car and transit, so I can aggregate them at the end to car and transit and car and transit. Um, one example of aggregation is. You, when you have a model that doesn't care about tolls because tolls doesn't exist in that model. So tolls are not any important factor. Thus, the income will not affect my route choice. So if there is no tolls, people with low income and high income will use the same path. So it's easier to aggregate this type of model. But in case of um, tolls or other factors, aggregation will not be a good idea. So I come from here, I, I aggregate my, my modes and my, my demand strata and I end up with a demand segment. These two car and transit will have um, a separate matrix that will be assigned to the model or to the road network. So let's go and learn how we can implement this inside um, Vizom. So I'm going to launch Vizom So here is the Vizon 15, and I'm going to open an example that I usually work with. Okay, so here is my network, and here is my zones. Okay, so. To, to generate a demand model, you can go to demand, demand models, and here you need to create a demand model. It is just, um, we need to define a name and the type of data demand model. Before we start this step, we have three um, demand models in Vizom. The first one is the standard first step model, which starts with trip generation, distribution, mod choice, and assignment. We have the EVA um, assignment, um, which calls Luzi passenger model. And we have the tour-based model, which is the activity chain model, okay? Usually, in the standard four-step model, we go for the activity-based or the trip purpose, where we have um, two, two activities only, okay? Which I called before activity pairs. They are two successive activities in the daily routine of a person. 
while we have the tour based model where we have a chain of trips for example you have home work and shop so that's a chain it's more than two so here you will go to create and it will add for you the code the name these are just names and code that later in some other tutorials we will know what's the benefit of the code and the name in the demand models that will be useful in the combination of matrix and vectors um, the type as I mentioned we have the standard um, first step okay and EVA and the tour based so we will go for the first step and here the modes so I'm including all my modes you can see that these three tabs have been generated and these three tabs I was just talking about them in my presentation person groups activity pairs and demand strata which I was talking about here in my agenda so we have the activity pairs okay the trip purpose home to work home to shop home to education okay this is what I'm I'm, I'm doing segmentation for my demand then the person groups based on the income and income is one example sometimes we will go for the car ownership or car availability okay and finally demand strata that combine both of them um, in, in, in one in one uh, model okay so let's go back to visum and person groups okay so I'm going to create two person groups okay we have a code and a name we need to give them a name so if I go to my presentation we have low income um, and small household so we can just copy this here and you can give it the shortcut like um, actually this will be my shortcut maybe and this will be the name okay so spaces are not okay so I need to change this one and it writes myself it's low income small house hope okay maybe there was a problem in my copying and pasting okay and then we have medium income so mid income and this will be medium okay um, next we'll go to the activity pairs okay or the trip purpose I will create two activities as I have here home based work home page shop so HBW and HBS so home to work home to shop of course we need work to home shop to home but this is just a simple example I don't want to spend more time in creating these and finally the demand strata okay and I will create a demand strata we will have two demand strata okay and let's go back here and this is the demand strata so home based work low income small household okay so you can see that it's already created for me the code here okay and here my person groups my activity pairs I need to pick one of them okay I can pick both of them okay but in my case I have low income small household size here and here will be my medium income okay so the person groups that will do a home based um, shop will be the low income home to work medium income or I can include both okay I can include both of them 
so both of the person groups will have the will have the, the, the two activities but sometimes you will have for example a person group with car availability that they will do some type of trips that other people cannot do okay so here I'm just showing you the ability to choose between the person group and the activity pairs okay so so far um, we are done there is one more thing that we need to know about which is production attraction of the zones I have here so if you click here you will see that for this type of demand strata I have my zones here in a vector shape and here is the production attraction and these values will be filled using either a manual input or using the trip um, generation procedure in Vizom. So I'm going to talk later about the trip generation um, and how we can do trip generation in Visa. That will be in, in, in later videos. So this is it for this tutorial. Um, we started by creating um, a demand model. Okay, the type is a four step. I'm including all my modes. And I went to the person groups. I'm categorizing or segmenting my uh, my persons or my people as low income and medium income with small um, household size then I define two trip purposes home to work and home to shop and finally in my demand strata I'm combining or I am relating these two um, things together okay and finally um, the production attraction and as I mentioned, this can be filled by the trip generation. So when you do trip generation, these values will be updated automatically. So this is it for this tutorial. If you have questions, please ask me. Thank you.